Welcome to another video. If you're just tuning into my channel, I'll be making a series of videos on how to make a model tourbillon. In this video, I'll be making a balance wheel and pallet fork highlighted in blue here. In this video, we're going to be making a balance wheel and pallet fork. We'll be using a CNC machine to make these components out of C360 brass. Here are all the tool paths, and as you can see, it's quite complex. These parts have a number of features, and due to their small size and desire to have a good surface finish, I'm using relatively light cutting paths. Before running anything on the CNC machine, we'll have to simulate it to make sure the final result is what we want, and to detect any possible collision issues with the machine. The smallest end mill we're using here is 1 32nd of an inch, so any collisions will surely break that end mill. The final toolpath I ended up using does not have the four tabs you see on the balance wheel here. The balance wheel is such a prominent feature on the escapement, we want the finish on the outside to be absolutely perfect. If you noticed, the toolpaths are using tabs to hold the balance wheel in place. That would normally be fine, but tabs do not allow us to have a perfect machined finish. So what we're going to do instead is make a simple fixture which will hold the balance wheel in place as we cut the outer edge entirely without tabs. We'll see how this fixture is used in a little bit. Here's a look at my aluminum base plate. As you can see, it's been used for a lot of projects and it looks a bit like Swiss cheese. For my projects, I follow a simple formula. Step one, I drill a hole manually with a drill press. Here's a hole in a nice piece of scrap metal I'll be using to make the balance wheel fixture. Step two, using the hole I already drilled, I secure it to the aluminum base plate, making sure it's very tight enough to hold the piece in place. Step three, we'll run a CNC program to drill additional work holding holes. In this case, there's only one additional hole that will be needed for the fixture. Step 4. Remove the workpiece and run a CNC program which drills and taps into the aluminum base plate. Step 5. Finally, we can attach the workpiece fully and run the CNC program to cut out whatever we want. In this case, a simple component which will be used as a fixture for the balance wheel. Okay, we've made our fixture, now it's time to make the actual balance wheel and pallet fork. To machine these parts, we'll be using a quarter inch thick C360 brass flat bar. Using the exact same steps as a fixture, we'll mill holes in our brass, we'll drill and tap holes in our aluminum base plate, and then we'll very securely fix our brass piece to the aluminum base plate.
Here you can see the results of our first cut program. Notice how there are three holes drilled and tapped into the aluminum base plate which are now exposed and ready to accept our fixture. Here we install and secure our fixture on the balance wheel. This will prevent the piece from moving as our toolpath cuts out the outer edge of the balance wheel. Here's how our pieces look after machining them. And here's the balance wheel, nice and shiny, with a perfect machined finish on the outer edge. Here's our pallet fork, also super nice and shiny, 